Hey everyone, this is Andrew with PRA7 Reviews. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, today we're looking at the GQ Geiger counter. It's the uh, specific model number is the GMC 500 plus. This, so I guess I've been looking for some sort of Geiger counter over the years. Um, just a nerd thing. But usually they're either too expensive or they don't have the right features. And this one has everything. Um, so it's portable, it's handheld, um, actually comes with a little pouch that you can wear on your belt. It is audible. Um, as you turn the screen, it will rotate uh, pretty much in any direction. And the backlit portion the audible warning, um, all sorts of other things can be configured through these settings and, or through these buttons. It also has built in Wi Fi. So, you, this is actually right now connected to my Wi Fi and transmitting the data. Um, and you can also capture the data um, and hook it up to your computer later on and get it through software. But the cool feature is that it is sending data real time to this website, which is the gmcmap.com. And it's really impressive. Let me uh, show you that to you real quick. All right, so the camera's gonna be jumpy for a minute. But this is the website that it talks to. It's gmcmap.com. And all of these dots are actually other GMC products, just like this one, talking to the net um, and feeding this website with essentially live data. And if you scroll over, uh, excuse the scrolling, I can zoom out. But it's not just in the US, even though these products are made, uh, the company is based in Seattle. Um, but as you can see, there's quite a bit and you can actually click on one and it shows you the last time it was updated and the model, and you can even go to the historic data. Uh, let's see if that pulls up. And so it shows you the date, the time, what the reading was, uh, all that good information. So it's a really cool tool to have around anyways. Um, But something that's really interesting is there's a lot of natural radiation already around you and in your home. Um, so ground granite countertops. So let's let me show you one more thing. So I actually can or I hook this up to the wall or connect it to the wall. Um, there is a battery in here, and so I will just connect it to USB, which always charges the battery. And then again, no matter what direction you face it. It should rotate with you but I just leave mine hooked to the wall connected to USB and it's feeding data to the web but also around the house you can get uh, radiation levels from different things so typically it reads anywhere from say like 5 to 20 since it's on this granite countertop countertop it is reading, since it's on the granite countertop, it is reading in the 20s, which is about right. But, so there was, uh, there's different things. So we found some, like a glass product that was uh, from a relative, and it was probably made in the 50s, and at that time, they used a certain ingredient to achieve a color in the glass and it turns out that that's radioactive so um it's not very it's not like super radioactive but you can see it actually go up um let's see if i can get this to stand and if you give it a second it should start increasing let's try it this way there we go. 
So 27, 31, 32, 35. So it'll probably get to around, yeah, around 40, a little bit over that. And so while that's doing that, so this card that comes with the device shows you what the acceptable levels are, what to expect. Um, the biggest concern is, you know, you obviously don't want to have long exposures um, to high levels. Uh, but I mean, this is getting up to 60, 70. And this is just a piece of antique glass, um, almost up to 80. When it goes to 100, I have it set to where it'll start beeping and giving a little alert. But um, it looks like it's going to reach 100. There we go. So, again, piece of antique glass. Usually people don't... Um, really pay attention to this stuff, but it's there. I've also heard that I think there's a product called Fiesta Wear that was really popular. And one way to tell, and I believe this is accurate, I could be totally wrong, um, that one way to tell whether it's authentic or not is if you have a Geiger counter and it starts going up, that would uh, show that it's authentic. So here's another interesting one. Um, I was talking to a friend, they have a lens, a camera lens, that's older, um, from Japan, and it's supposedly known for having radiation. So in the bag, um, it's still decreasing, no, it's going up a little bit. And so it's decreasing from kind of coming back to normal levels. But through the bag, nothing. But watch this. So here's a picture of the lens. Um, here's the manufacturer. So this back part, I don't know if you can tell, it's got a little bit of brown to it. That's supposedly where the radioactive uh, coating is. Now if you watch, so it's on 38, right? So I'll just set it on there. And let's just watch. I've run it before and it's gotten as high as 300. And it'll start beeping and stuff here in a second. Ninety-eight. <clears throat> Starts the alarm. So we should at least hit two hundred. Two hundred. Anyways, you get the, the point, and it, w it did go up to 300 previously, um, and what it is though, so there's two tubes on the back of this, you can actually see one there, um, and just pulling it away, it's dropped to 160, if I put it back, it should start shooting back up. Um, and remove it. Let the annoying beep go away. <clears throat> so this device though will detect beta, gamma, and x-ray radiation. Um, and again, it can be worn as a per personal, I may say this wrong, I think dosometer or dosimeter, or dosometer. Uh, so you can track what kind of radiation you're exposed to. 
And so again, that's where it's kind of nice. It has the build-in memory. You can do a data dump into the software or you can do the real-time data and see what, you know, what it is. So anyways, if you have any questions, let me know. I think this is a really cool device. Uh, price points around 150 and just kind of fun. Um, and if you go uh, antiquing, that may be an interesting device to have with you to do your shopping and make sure some things are authentic. So thank you so much for watching. Um, have a great day, and uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks. Bye-bye.